Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between protecting sheets versus protecting workbook in Excel. Let's go with protecting sheet first. So protect, protecting sheet just means, or sheets, just means that you are preventing people from making changes to your data inside the sheet. So let me do that. So now I can you know, I can do this example or not actually. Yeah, do that or make this no, drag this. I can do that. So if I want to, if I want other people from doing that, I mean, if, we'll, if I don't want other people from doing that, uh, I can protect this sheet. So to do that, Let's go to review, protect, and it says here select locked cells, select unlocked cells. So these are just the allowed actions that users can do to this sheet. So let me type the password. Retype again to confirm. Yeah, I can select the I can, I can select the data, but if I do that, it says the cell or chart you were trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make a change, unprotect the sheet. You might be requested to enter a password. So you cannot make any change to this data now because it's protected. So let's say yeah, trying to try to delete this. No. Yeah, so if you right click, you cannot cut. You cannot, oh, you can copy, but you cannot cut. You cannot, so meaning you cannot delete data. So that's how you protect sheets. So let's proceed with protect workbook. So protect workbook, workbooks just means that you are protecting the structure uh, or layout of the workbook. So meaning you are preventing people, other people from adding sheets or deleting sheets or seeing the hidden uh, sheets. So let me, let me do and hide this sheet here. So hide this. So and if I protect this workbook, so protect workbook for structure. So it says protect workbook for structure. So let me type the password. Type again to confirm. So now if I try to see the hidden sheets, it won't let me unless I am protect the workbook. So here, it's blank or grayed out. So for me to be able to, to see the hidden sheets, I need to unprotect the workbook. So I need to, I need to type the password. I need to type it just once, actually. So now if I want to see the hidden sheets, I can do that here. So that's how you can unprotect workbook. And of course, that's the same with protect sheet, you have to type in your password. So yeah, that's that's what I wanted to cover in this video. So if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.